After a difficult loss on the road against Georgetown this past weekend, the Friars entered Tuesday night's contest needing this game about as much as you would need a mid-January contest. And led by David Duke's 18 points and a Friars defense that forced 12 turnovers and had eight steals in the second half, it was the Friars that sealed that victory, winning 72-63 over the Seton Hall Pirates. For Coach Cooley, it was that defense that played the critical role in Tuesday night's win. I was really proud of our guys, uh, just their the, uh, attention to detail, in particular on Powell. Um, I thought we rebounded the ball when we had to, but I thought our defense was spectacular today, causing turnovers, we were disruptive. David Duke had one of his best games in his early career. For him, it comes at a perfect time, bouncing back from a disheartening loss this past weekend. Like I said, Coach, you know, he does a good job talking to me every day, talk, telling me to stay confident, you know, not listen to outside noise and just stay focused. And It's all part of the process, and I think today I'm um, going my way. So. And when we got off the plane the other day, I just saw his body language a little bit. And I sent him a text. I said, just give me a call when you get to your room. And I just told him, keep your head up. It's OK. Failing is part of process, you know, progress. And I thought today he really responded in a major, major way. With 344 left in the game and the Friars up four, Khalif Young grabbed the rebound and put it back up to extend the Friars' lead. Coach called it the play of the game. But a humble Young said he's willing to help however he can. But I still think the basket of the game was made by Khalif on a scrum basket underneath the basket, put in. I thought that sealed the win for us. I think the biggest thing I try to do is just like do anything I can to help my team. And just hustling, if it's hustling, finishing around the rim, playing defense, rotations, just talking. Just the basic stuff to help my team. I'm not trying to overdo everything, just be the best teammate I can be. The Friars now have the next few days off before flying out to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where they'll take on the Marquette Golden Eagles Sunday at noon. You can watch the game on CBS Sports Network or listen to it on the radio on 99.7 FM WPRO. From the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, Rhode Island, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com.